freeing the soul. So when we start to free the soul, what we're referring to is opening the mind because what's important to understand, at least within this reality, is that the world which we're living in is prescribed a frequency. The frequency of which we are, um, most of us are adhering to, because when a frequency is, is accept, it, it, in, ex, it's essentially, when a frequency is intercepting our being, and we must refer to ourselves as light beings, as we are an expression of frequency, and that frequency contains light, and that light is a, a reflection of existence. So that reflection of existence is, is being reflected into this reality, and this reality is only, you could say, a... This reality is, you could say, an immersion of that reflection. So it's it's being created by a reflection. And that reflection is the essence of our soul, you could say. So why this is crucial to examine and understand is that this soul, you could say, is the the life form of of true self. And true self, you could say, is is creation of manifestation. It's cre- true self is, you could say, is the, the creation of manifestation. And that's extremely beautiful because what we're getting to is we're starting to analyze the existence of, of creation, which is the manifest, mes- manifestation of, of in- existence. And, and that's what's powerful. And that's where we can just start to bring back and focus back on where we are in this moment. Because if we are representing the creation of manifestation and soul itself is, is the true source or the true self of that manifestation, it's just, it's, 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 it's its unique code, its unique expression, its unique identity, which has essentially branched off the the true self and into examining different parts of a ref, of its um, source and we are essentially a reflection of that that soul then we can start to understand that all we are really in this in this existence is our minds because what we're getting at here is that the soul itself is already existing it's existing already, and we are just a replica of that soul. But what's different here is we're given a mind, and that mind is is ultimately what's creating this, um, you could almost say, a battlefield. Because the battlefield of which we're um, holding right now is planet Earth. And the battlefield, why I refer it to as a battlefield, is because the existence of our frequency... Um, field is essentially a battlefield because we must learn and accept that the frequency field which we're in is much more denser than our um, than our potentiality outside of this existence so outside of this existence we could say exists multiple different layers of frequency but what's crucial to comprehend is that the field of which the soul exists is almost like a, you could say it's a field of, of just neutrality. It's neutral. It doesn't have any, uh, you could say, layers of, of coercion or judgment or hatred. or It just has, truthfully, um, it's existing within... A, a neutral and this is where all that manifests exists is within the densities of of existence and this is where effectively we've been created to exist is 
this reality is much more dense than our true sources. Um, yeah, this reality exists from the density of our true self. Gee, that's a lot of info there.